On the evening of April 14th, two police officers were killed in a shootout in a Syracuse suburb. Here's what happened that night, according to Onondaga County Sheriff Toby Shelley. Sheriff's Lieutenant Michael Husak arrived first to the scene on Darien Drive in Salina. He was helping Syracuse police find a car that fled a traffic stop on Tip Hill. That car belonged to Christopher Murphy. Shortly after, four Syracuse police officers arrived, including Officer Michael Jensen. Two more deputies arrived next. They all parked on the street in front of the house. Officers saw an AR-15 magazine in a Honda Civic parked in the driveway. They heard someone readying a weapon. They surrounded the house. Husak went east to a neighbor's yard and took cover behind a maple tree. Two other deputies went west. The four Syracuse officers stayed in the front yard. The deputies to the west caught a man trying to flee by jumping a fence. Meanwhile, Murphy stood on the deck of his house. Husak flashed his light to signal his fellow officers that he was hiding behind a tree. Murphy opened fire on Husak, and Husak was killed. Murphy then came around the east side of the house where Syracuse police officers were taking cover. Murphy came towards the car where Jensen was hiding and shot him. Jensen and the other officers returned fire. Murphy collapsed from multiple gunshot wounds in the street in front of the driveway across from his house. Responding officers picked up the wounded officers Husak and Jensen and drove them around the block to David Stott's house on Driftwood Drive, where they tried to save the officers' lives. The officers were transported to Upstate University Hospital, where they were pronounced dead. <laughs>